Hey, I'm Graham Barnes with the Faculty of Environment. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of our three environment buildings to give you an inside look of what it's like to be an environment student. We're going to kick things off in our newest and most recognizable building, Environment 3. EV3 is a living laboratory and is LEED Platinum certified, meaning it was built with sustainably sourced materials and meets the highest criteria for environmentally responsible construction. The building is home to our iconic living wall. Spanning two stories, this wall isn't just an impressive place to take your LinkedIn headshot. It's connected to the ventilation system and acts like a living air filter for the entire building. With these and many more sustainable features, Environment 3 represents our faculty's commitments to living our values in every way. From the living wall, we'll head into the largest classroom in the Environment buildings. If you're a student in Environment, chances are you'll spend a lot of time in this room. It's used for public lectures and special events, but also holds some of the faculty's largest first-year courses. Next, we'll head up to the third floor to check out the building's green roof. This green roof spans 5,000 square feet and overlooks both Laurel Creek and Waterloo's University Colleges, including St. Paul's, home to the Environment Living Learning Residence community. The garden has a variety of plants that are native to Canada or are drought resistant, keeping it healthy and fresh year after year. It's so comfortable up here that sometimes the garden is even home to newly hatched goslings in the spring. Heading back down the stairs, we'll stop by the planning studio. This space is where students in our planning programs explore community design issues. Waterloo students actually worked on the collaborative design and layout of this room, tailoring it to planning students' needs. With wall-to-wall -wall windows and stunning views of campus, the room is the perfect place to work on group projects or imagine what the cities of the future will look like. Just down the hallway is the entrance to Environment 2. Our first stop in EV2 is the Knowledge Integration Studio. This studio space is the central hub for all Knowledge Integration students. Not only are the majority of Knowledge Integration classes taught here, but KI students can drop in for group meetings, creative work, projects, and studying. With whiteboards and collaborative seating, the studio where students start the planning process for KIX, the annual museum exhibition for third-year knowledge integration students. Just down the hall is the Entrepreneurship at Environment Student Lounge. Have you ever thought about launching your own green business? This is the place where you can get your dreams started. Entrepreneurship at Environment is open to students across campus and offers free one-on-one -on -one startup coaching with an experienced advisor and workshops. Next, we'll head down to the first floor of the building where you can find many of Environment's unique student resources. Mapping, Analysis and Design, or MAD for short, offers a variety of software, tools and spaces for the entire Environment community to enjoy. First we'll check out one of our computer labs. The labs are open 24 seven, making it ideal for late night group work. Next door is the MAD help desk. If you've gotten the blue screen of death recently, MAD's IT services can help. They'll also loan equipment out to you, like laptops, video and camera equipment, free of charge. Down the hallway is the MAD workshop and maker space. The workshop is a unique resource to students. It houses a laser cutter, 3D printer, and traditional woodworking equipment like miter and panel saws, jointers, and drill presses. The workshop is primarily used for constructing projects for courses, but you can reach out to the Mad Lab to get involved during your free time. If you've dreamed of launching a YouTube channel, creating a podcast, or launching a photography career, the photo and sound studio is for you. The studio has a dark room to develop photo prints from negatives, a professional lighting and backdrop, 
and a soundproof audio studio with the equipment you'll need to create professional quality recordings. Through these doors, we'll move to Environment 1. If Environment 2 is where you'll find the most student resources, Environment 1 is where you'll really get a sense of our community. First stop is the Ecology Lab. The Ecology Lab is the faculty's undergraduate teaching facility. They are your one-stop resource center, supporting lab and field activities, courses, projects, and community building initiatives. Here, you'll have the opportunity to learn how to use tons of different environmental equipment, including Kestrel weather stations, nets, field guides, GPS units, and microscopes. The Ecology Lab also runs a variety of free interactive workshops throughout each term. Butterflies, edible plants, winter survival, and soap making, just to name a few. They have a massive collection of over 1,500 specimens, including preserved pressed plants, lichens, taxidermy birds, and invertebrates. Most undergraduate environment students will take EMVS 200 Field Ecology, which is supported by our Ecology Lab experts. During the course, you'll either be in the lab or out in the field each week doing things like forest inventory, visiting a bog, putting on waders to head into the creek for water analysis, and more. Students completing their master's or PhD work closely with a professor to study a specific topic related to environment using resources from the Ecology Lab or one of our other environmental labs dedicated to graduate research. Next, we'll head down the hallway to the Environmental Studies Coffee Shop. The ES Coffee Shop is a volunteer-run service that sells ethically sourced coffee and local sustainable food for students, staff, and faculty at an affordable price. Here, it's BYOM, or Bring Your Own Mugs, or borrow one from their collection to create as little waste as possible. If you're looking to get involved, meet new friends and professors, this is a perfect place to start. Let's head around the corner to the Environment Student Lounge. The Environment Student Lounge is a great gathering spot for students. Here, you can heat up your lunch, meet up with some friends, or take a seat in one of the couches for some downtime. The lounge is also home to the Environment Student Society, or ESS, office, which is Environment's official voice of undergraduate students. They are a part of the Waterloo Undergraduate Student Association, or WUSA for short. Next door is an example of graduate office space. This office space is one of many in environment that are used by students in our master's or PhD programs. Graduate students are often teaching assistants for undergraduate courses and can be a great resource available to help undergraduate students excel in their classes. For our last stop on the tour, we'll head upstairs to the EV1 courtyard. This is one of my favorite spaces on campus. If you're looking for some peace while you study, the courtyard is a designated quiet space during the term. The best part is the glass sunroof, which allows an incredible amount of light all day and brings a little bit of the outdoors to you. And that's our video tour of the Faculty of Environment. If you have any questions about environment or any of our undergraduate or graduate programs, please visit uwaterloo.ca environment to learn more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on campus.